This is my Google Pixel 6a. This is my Google Pixel 6. Both of them are running Android 13 stable, yet I didn't get the update for it on my Google Pixel 6a. And today I wanna to tell you guys how to force the stable Android 13 update to your device. The first step is really simple. Follow the link that I have in the description down below. That link will take you to the Google Android beta development program. Whatever Google Gmail account you have logged in with either your Google Pixel 6 or your Google Pixel 6a, Pixel 6 Pro, whatever, make sure that you are signed in with that Gmail account. After you have decided to opt in to the beta program, check for the Android 13 stable update on your device. Now, after you opt into the beta program, it can take anywhere between five to 10 minutes for that to kind of go across Google's servers and alert their servers that your device is eligible for the update. Once you have done that, check maybe five or 10 minutes later to see if the update is available for your device. You will have Android 13 stable ready for download. Once you download Android 13 on your Google Pixel 6, Google Pixel 6a, or Google Pixel 6 Pro, you can go ahead and opt out of the beta development program for your device. Because Android 13 Stable is the most recent update for the beta development program, as well as just the stable one, there's no other flashing, no wiping of your device that needs to happen. That way, you have Android 13 Stable and you don't have to worry about getting beta updates in the future. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, my name is Mitchell, I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be, and now I wanna go ahead and answer some of the commonly asked questions from the Pixel 6, Pixel 6 series Telegram group, as well as from my Discord, and I'll have links to all that stuff in the description down below. And if you guys wanna support the channel, think about giving the video a like. If you love it, think about subscribing. Now, I have been using Android 13 Stable on my Google Pixel 6 for about four or five days at this point. I did a video talking about that, I'll have that linked up here. Now, to answer some of your questions about performance and about battery life, I have noticed no negative effects of battery life on my Google Pixel 6. If anything, the Google algorithm for killing background apps and preserving battery is more aggressive than it was before. I noticed that when I'm playing Spotify, uh, sometimes Spotify will crash in the background and other apps running in the background will get closed early. This is because Google is trying to improve the battery life of its Pixel series of devices. Another commonly asked question is, what about the modem connectivity and the modem options? Well, first, using the device on AT&T back in the United States, because if you guys can't tell, I'm in Vietnam right now, uh, I had no issues with it going between 4G, 5G, E, LTE, and Wi-Fi on my Pixel 6. I did notice that the switching was a little bit weird and sometimes I would have no internet connection and then all of a sudden I would have it. There's a new option about connectivity in it or adaptive connectivity on the Pixel 6 and I think that has something to do with it. To answer the next question about what about the fingerprint scanner and is it better, is it worse, etc. I have noticed that on the Pixel 6a, the fingerprint scanner is a little bit better than on my Pixel 6. I think this is because the screen of the Pixel 6a is brighter than the screen of the Pixel 6. This means you have more light for the in-display fingerprint sensor, which is essentially a camera under the screen to light up your fingerprint. I haven't noticed any significant differences using the fingerprint scanner on my Pixel 6 on Android 12L, Android 13 Beta, or Android 13 Stable. To me, they all seem very much the same. If you guys wanna see some of the tips and tricks and other kind of new features that you guys have access to in Android 13, you can check out a video that I linked and I'll have it up here. And I go through a lot of the different new updates, tweaks, features, et cetera, that you can expect on your Pixel 6 device. Not much of that has changed since Android 13 beta. Now, we're gonna wrap this video up. And if you guys have enjoyed it, think about subscribing or becoming a channel member. It's about a dollar a month and it goes a long way to supporting this channel. Also, I, add, I upload all of the videos there, advertisement free and demonetized for your viewing pleasure. 
Until next time, it's been Mitchell from Hanoi. Peace.